Hello, my name is Gabe Zolna. You know what I find really amazing? Is that, uh, as most of us know, or as if you don't know, uh, on the 20th of January is when the president's supposed to be sworn in. And uh, that's supposed to take place, uh, and it will take place, but they'll also have to have another swearing-in ceremony on the 21st. And the reason that is, is the 20th is on a Sunday. And according to the Constitution, that's when the president has to be inaugurated. So it'll be done twice. And Obama is going to use three different Bibles from what I've uh, heard or read. One of the Bibles had belonged to Michelle's mother. Isn't that wonderful? Well, see, what's really amazing is that he's going to use three different Bibles this time. He didn't use any Bibles at all last time. There wasn't a Bible available when he was sworn in. And it wouldn't matter anyway because he didn't honor his oath of office, you know, to defend against all enemies, both foreign and domestic. How can you defend against yourself? But here's what I find really amazing, is Chief Justice John Roberts is going to be doing the swearing in. And on the 15th of February, all right, like this is what, uh, 20 days later, 25 days later? On the 15th of February, the nine justices of the Supreme Court, now that includes Elena Kagan and Sonia Sotomayor, well, they're going to decide if the Orly Tate's challenge of Noonan et al. v. versus Bowman may proceed. Now, what's really amazing is it was Chief Justice John Roberts himself who decided to afford the court this opportunity to decide an issue summarily dismissed by other judges in lesser courts. So let me understand this now. Justice Roberts is going to swear Obama in on the 20th and the 21st on a Bible when we know it doesn't matter because, you know, he doesn't go with what he swore in anyway. He didn't last time. I'm talking about Obama. And then on the 15th of February, they're going to decide if they want to review the case that Orly Tate's brought before them to see if Obama is eligible to be president. You know what's crazy is that, like, why don't they do that now, you know? What could be more important for this country than to determine if the person that's going to be sworn in, inaugurated, is in fact qualified to be inaugurated? I mean, to do it three weeks after, to me, is totally insane. There's nothing more important. So if you folks at the Supreme Court get a clue, now is when you should make that determination, not decided on the 15th of February. This farce needs to end. And sadly and unfortunately, I think the Supreme Court's part of it. Because if it weren't part of it, they would act now, not in February.